Several years ago, we had a traveling evangelist at the church who taught four or five weeks of Bible study. And one of the things he said during the Bible study got my attention. He said that he had remembered Psalms 91 and that um, he was in, 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 a, in a tornado in his car, he had to get out of a car in a ditch. And he spent that time repeating what he had learned, which was Psalms 91. He was not hurt at all. I felt a strong leading to learn Psalms 91. And within a couple of weeks, I sat at home one day and I learned it. And Psalms 91 is my mantra. I say it at least once a day, and I have done that every day for years. So on Monday, April 4th in 2016, uh, earlier in that morning, I had said Psalms 91. Went to the gym with my trainer, left the gym, had breakfast at a favorite restaurant, left the restaurant, went to Railroad Park, walked two and a half miles, got in the car, and I thought, what's the best way to get to Best Stadium because I want to get a car wash, and decided to go up 20th Street. Leaving Railroad Park, shortly after I left, I began to feel so sleepy. It was a bright, sunshiny day. And so what I did was let the window down, the air conditioner was on, and I was praying, Lord, for a spirit of alertness and awakeness. But going up 20th Street, uh, in that Five Point South area, at some point, I fell asleep. And when I knew anything, I had hit a concrete wall. This wall was directly in front of me. What I had actually done was to travel across a lane of traffic and then two lanes coming down the hill from Vulcan asleep and hit a wall head on. God is so good. God is so gracious. I was okay. I saw my purse on the floor. And I said, oh my God, I hit a wall. I reached down, picked up my purse, turned the car off, got out of the car. A lady was running across the street who really figured I should have been injured. And her question of me was, what happened? Did you go to sleep? Did you pass out? Did you? She didn't ask me if I went to sleep. She asked me if I had blacked out or if I had passed out. And I assured her, no, I went to sleep. And she got me to go across the street, wanted me to sit down on a curb which I did need to do, a guy in an Alabama Power Company truck stopped. She had already called the police, and somebody had called even before her. Uh, but, but this truck stopped, and at that point, she looked right across there and saw a drop of blood. And she says, oh my goodness, you're bleeding. But she wiped it. I think with I pulled the Kleenex out, this guy stopped right at that point, gave me a bottle of water, pulled out his uh, first aid kit, which we didn't need to use because it was only one drop of blood. I had one scratch. Uh, others began to stop and everybody said the same thing. You were really lucky. And I got to say the same thing to them. No, but for the grace and mercy of God. A police car stopped. They said they did not have the call. Somebody else did, but it was the same question. You were lucky. No, this wasn't about luck. Our policemen finally arrived, same thing. Ambulance arrived, paramedics, and it seemed like there were more than two paramedics. Uh, and they examined me. I did no, I don't need to go to the hospital. And all of them were saying, ma'am, you were so lucky. And I'm saying, no, but for the grace of God. Well, I had an opportunity to take a picture of a car it turns out the damage to the car was to the passenger front end side. My insurance company totaled the car. They completely totaled the car. But there was not the damage where I was sitting, which was to the driver's side. Um, call my sister, came, we went away, called the insurance company, uh, rented a car before I went home. Once I had undressed, the only injury, and the only very, very slight injury, was a very small burn below one of my knees, which might have come from the airbag. But God, Psalms 91, God's promise to protect me, 
from any and everything, and he absolutely did. There was no luck involved in that. All about the grace of God and God doing again, exceedingly abundantly above all that I could ask, I imagine. And that's another. Thank you, Jesus.